Welcome back to my Motorsport Manager and Fire Fantasy 20 mod playthrough. This video is a week late since I took a day off for Canadian Thanksgiving, and I didn't want to rush this video out. We ride high going into round 5 in Singapore and we hope to maintain this momentum. For the practice session we aimed for knowledge of super soft tires, the harder of the two compounds available for this track. We had some luck aiming for zero stop strategies before, so we're not looking to change things up. And unlike previous practice sessions, there wasn't a rain cloud in sight and we were able to gain some proper knowledge. Along with setup scores in the mid to high 90s, we attained level 2 knowledge on both super soft tires and on race trim. Aberdeen also improved his relationship with his mechanic, so he also has access to light footed, super softs, which we'll try for this race. That knowledge is all well and good, if we didn't accidentally start on ultra soft tires instead. Thankfully, we got lucky in the random grid draw, as we start on P2 and P3. But the front half of the grid is chock full of strong drivers, so it'll be a struggle to maintain positions. Lights out and Garcia got a fantastic start and jumped to P1. Meanwhile, Aberdeen was asleep at the wheel and went wide in the first turn, dropping to the back of the grid. One lap later, the last hairpin of the track proved difficult as De La Traz collided with Vesti, and De La Vara did the same to Florsch. This is the third race in a row that Florsch was bumped into. Not long after, our favorite driver Ferrucci crashed into somebody, most likely Leclerc. He also avoided a penalty, but Karma was still dealt as he had to limp a full lap to make it into the pits, spoiling his race. One lap later, the final hairpin struck again as De Vries crashed. Things calmed down from the early chaos and, on lap 12, Garcia built a 6 second buffer from P2, while Aberdeen clawed his way up to P15. Florsch ran into even more bad luck as she crashed on turn 8. And if you thought her luck was bad in my playthrough, it's actually much worse in real life. She was actually involved in one of the most horrific looking crashes in recent memory. Miraculously no one was fatally injured and she came away with a spinal fracture. She's recovered since then and is currently the first and only female driver in the new FIA Formula 3 Championship, which was formed after the merging of GP3 and Formula 3 European. Anyways, back to the video game. A full safety car was called and we pulled both drivers in for fresh tires, since their current ultra softs won't last until the end of the race. We switched both drivers to super softs and the pit stops went off without a hitch, however, Garcia's lead evaporated as the field compressed for the restart. The safety car went into the pits on lap 14 and the race restarted. Aberdeen struggled in the pack, while Garcia was able to fend off Vesti, who was on a softer tire compound. A couple laps later, it looked like Schumacher's suspension gave out as he slammed into the barrier. On lap 19, we continued to push Aberdeen, but the pressure mounted as he locked up on the final hairpin. And not long after that, he braked too late at turn 7 and went straight into the barrier. Turns out, he couldn't brake at all. This was a pretty massive setback for the team, considering we hit a power spike in terms of car development. But we still have the bright silver lining, with Garcia holding pole position. Right at the end of lap 23, there was more trouble at the last hairpin as Eilert collided with Joe. No penalty was served, but he immediately dove into the pits for repairs and he dropped from P6 to dead last. Garcia continued her flawless drive and held off Vesti for nearly 10 laps, and he's forced to give up the chase by lap 30, to avoid completely destroying his tires. Crone did not take similar precautions and crashed, likely due to cliffing her soft tires. A virtual safety car is called, but with only three laps left, there's no sense in pitting in now. Garcia's concentration and pace held up until the checkered flag, taking the first podium and victory for our team. Excuse me while I mess around with the camera for the victory lap. I've almost forgotten that Aberdeen crashed earlier in the race. At this point I'd take a win every race, if it also meant my other driver crashed, since we're not really in contention for the constructors quite yet. Vesti held on to P2 for Cosworth, while Kaminsky finished in P3 for Penske. 
Ferrucci ended up using an illegal part and was caught. His punishment was to finish in last, even lower than the drivers that crashed. Garcia also jumped several places in the drivers' championship, from P12 to P8. And we jumped to the top half of the constructors in P5. Meanwhile in F1, Red Bull took a big win in Milan as Verstappen and Albon finished in P1 and P2 respectively, with Ricardo rounding out the podium in P3. This result followed Ferrari's lockout in Ardennes and they still held on to P2 of the constructors. However, Verstappen jumps over Vettel and Hamilton for P1 of the Drivers' Championship. And he extends his lead even further as he took P1 in Singapore as well. Verstappen gives Red Bull the win! Mercedes rounds out the podium with Bottas in P2 and Hamilton in P3, and the Silver Arrows hold onto their lead in the constructors with Red Bull trailing by 5 points. Another FIA rule change is proposed, and since we were bribed earlier by Penske were forced to vote nay, and the proposal is ultimately denied construction of our staff center is finally completed, which will give a growth bonus to our staff, though maybe not as large a bonus as I'd like. However, it all adds up as the season's progress. Another one of our two star sponsorship contracts expires and we have three four star sponsors to fill the slot. Rocket offers the most money per race by a big margin, but to get a payout requires one of my drivers to finish in P2 or higher. We literally just won our first race, but I'm not confident we could get those results consistently. The most prudent choice is NVIDIA. Ahead of our next race in Guildford, I have to play team principal and swap priority of our drivers. Initially we were favoring Aberdeen in terms of part selection, but after his crash and Garcia's P1 finish, momentum is with her. So we place the best parts that favor the Guildford track variant onto Garcia's car, and give Aberdeen the best of the rest. I hope to see you guys next week, to see if we can keep fighting for points in the season.